In this video, I'm going to show you my implementations of the value iteration and the Q learning reinforcement learning algorithms. I'm going to demonstrate the functionality of both of these programs on the R track as well as the L track. For the R track, I'm going to compare side by side two different scenarios of crashes. The first scenario of crash is a normal crash. When the car crashes, it returns to the nearest open position. The second version of a crash is a bad crash. In this version, when the race car crashes into a wall, it goes all the way back to the starting position. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, first we are going to take a look at the value iteration program. You can see the program here. And I'm going to run this for the R track. And I'm going to do both the good scenario for crashes as well as the bad scenario. Then we're going to go on to the Q learning algorithm. Okay, you're looking at this X right here, which is the race car. Here's the R track. And you can see it's starting at the starting line, moving up, going down the track. Right now, it's finding its way through and then finishes here at the finish line. So this is the time trial. And we can see the car moving again, and then it goes down to the finish line. So it's going to run several races over and over again, and then it's going to uh, time the race while it's doing that. And then we're going to take the average of all the times for the races to be able to spit out the, uh, the performance. Here you can see after one of the runs on the R track uh, prints out to the screen the number of training iterations right here, which is 40. Uh, the bad crash scenario, so in this case I selected one, so it starts from the nearest position on the track to the place where it crashed, and then it spits out the average number of steps the race car needs to take before finding the finish line. In this case it was an average 23.9 steps. Then it goes on to train for a uh, greater number of iterations. In this case we did 40, so now we're going to increment that up to 45 uh, iterations. Uh, to train on for this value uh, iteration algorithm, and then we will simulate the time trial again. Okay, in this case, you can see that I am running now crash scenario two, where the car returns back to the original position uh, after it crashes. I'm using the R track right now, and we're going to start with five training iterations. Going to run it, and then going to uh, run the time trial for the race car. So. Uh, the prompt, when I open up the program, gives the two options for crashes. I select which option, one or two, and then enter the number of training iterations, and then the uh, race car trains, and then does the time trial. Okay, and here we are looking at the actual runs from the bad crash uh, scenario. That's scenario two, and this is for the R track. Okay, here you can see the L track right here. That X that's moving on the screen is a race car and it's moving from start to the finish. And we are recording the number of steps from the start to the finish. And this is a value iteration algorithm. Okay, it just spit out 15 training iterations. And we are in bad crash scenario one, where we start from the nearest position to track to where it crashed. And it also spit out the average number of steps for the race car to go from uh, the start to the finish, which is 11.4. Okay, and now I'm going to run the Q learning algorithm. So let's run it here. This is on the R track. You can see, welcome to the race con track control program, powered by the Q learning reinforcement learning algorithm. We enter the crash scenario. I'm going to start with crash scenario one here and the number of initial training iterations. Let's just do one so you can see functionality and you can see the race car trying to move around here. And it's just a small number of iterations, training iterations. So it's not really getting a chance to explore the whole territory. Um, there it goes. Okay, it's moving a little bit, starting to learn a little bit more. It explores more, and uh, eventually it'll gradually learn over time how to get to the finish line. So that is the Q learning algorithm on the R track.